Welcome to using Industrial Communication Toolbox in MATLAB. In this video, we'll talk about how Industrial Communication Toolbox can be used for communication between IoT devices using MQTT protocol. So what is MQTT? MQTT is an OASIS standard messaging protocol for Internet of Things. It is designed as an extremely lightweight publish subscribe messaging transport that is ideal for connecting remote devices with a small code footprint and minimal network bandwidth. So for IoT devices communicating using the MQTT protocol via any broker, the industrial communication toolbox provided by the MathWorks allows you to subscribe to topics, read messages from them, and publish messages to them. A horticulturist from Michigan State University is studying the effect of climate on the plants in a greenhouse. As a part of this study, they monitor the temperatures of the greenhouse with the help of temperature sensors set up in the greenhouse. They take note of the average temperature identify the plant condition which is later used for further research. Now let's see how they can use the industrial communication toolbox to help with this research. The greenhouse sensors are using HiveMQ broker which is running on their local host. So the first step is to create an MQTT client using that broker address. MQTT client function creates a client object and establishes connection between the client and the broker. This client object will be used in the rest of this example for reading and writing messages. The temperature sensor writes the data to the topic structured like so. The MQTT client created in the previous step should subscribe to this topic. This is done via the subscribe function. The client and the topic are passed as input parameters. Once the MQTT client object subscribes to the topic, you can read the data returned to that topic using the read function. The read function takes in the client object and the topic as inputs. Once the read operation is performed, the buffer becomes empty. Now that the data returned by the temperature sensor is available, it can be visualized by extracting the time and data from the table. The data is always written as string or a character, so we need to typecast it to double after extracting it from the table. Once this is done, the data can be plotted. For further analysis, you want to write the average temperature and the corresponding plant condition to another topic. This can be done via the write function. Let's say there are three options for the plant condition as defined in the string array. Next, the topic to which you want to write the condition can be stored in this variable. The message to be written to the topic can be constructed like this by passing in whatever data you want to. As mentioned before, the MQTT read-write functions only accept string or character messages. So it's important to typecast all the information to a string data type. Now you can write this plant condition string by using the write function and passing in the MQTT client object and the topic you want to write to, that is the plant condition topic. And finally, the message, which is the plant condition here. Any MQTT clients who are already subscribed to this plant condition topic can now access this information for further study or analysis. So this is how a horticulturist can use industrial communication toolbox for greenhouse study. In this video, you have learned how to read and write data via MQTT protocol using industrial communication toolbox. Thanks for watching. Check out more examples in the documentation to learn about other workflows.